Hi all and welcome to another episode of Fortress Craft Evolved 64 bit mode um, Season 7 with Broken Wasp Mod 1.19 Now as of the 27th or the 7th of 2016 I will no longer be live streaming uh, Fortress Craft Evolved uh, because my motherboard which is only a two core can no longer keep up it just makes it far too laggy so we will record a couple of episodes um, during the week or on the weekends and we will then upload them during the week and uh, that's where it's going to be I'm afraid until I can get new motherboard so um, as you can see I've got the light on I'm going to turn the fucking light off because the headlight is just so power hungry that it's absolutely ridiculous so uh, what are we done in the meantime what in, in the meantime since uh, decided not to stream what we've done is we've upgraded the tin line it's n they're now all base they're they're now all normal conveyor belts okay um, we've had the copper one going for a while so we should now be getting the uh, tin and copper coming across very very nicely here and um, what we've also done now is we've been working on the broken wash mod and what we've been doing is we've been um, doing um, the plant matter factory which is gonna take plant matter make it into um, Heat and then peat is going to be um, crushed and turned, crushed, heated and turned into um, into coal. So we we had to change a few of the recipes and stuff like that. But you know, at the end of the day, this is, this is um, all all about getting stuff nice and and excited and that now this is hopefully going to be the first mod that I'm going to be doing and I'm going to keep it reasonably um, low and hopefully we can get everything sorted out as you can see I've got to put the graphics in for the um, for the uh, conveyor belts and uh, stuff like that um, you know but that shouldn't take too long as long as I can bloody well work out how to do it and then we can um, start looking at the other bits and pieces so <coughs> what are our plans for today well our plans for today is first of all we've got to get some um, coal and there's quite a lot of stuff that we can actually do because I want to, as I said, I want to get, I want to get this done. So we, we're going to be digging out, um, digging out this section today. And ob and obviously, um, if you don't want to watch the boring bits, just just skip through it. But this is just showing you, and I can't even believe it. It's even, it's, it's, it's even laggy on on just normal recording. Just just amazes me what my computer is so laggy lately. Ugh, I do hate that fucking rubble. So much prefer rough hewn rock to uh, any of these other blocks. Well, this is just going to be one of those things where we're just going to have to um, carry on and and work a lot like I said I do want to get this this working today we 
next week I'll be able to go back to work. Well, I am going back to work next week. Okay, so yeah, so so we're gonna have this out. So we've got uh, a space of one, two, three, four. Right, okay, so we've got a space of four here. So one, two, three, four, and then uh, that's the first bit of the conveyor belt there. So we need. Um, Um, logistics. We need logistics. So, what are we going to be here? So, let's see. So, first of all, we need logistics hopper. Uh, you can see that we need a power cube. Uh, I think we're going to need two lasers, well we've got one laser, okay so we need to uh, get that power. Now that uh, power for the whole of this factory is just coming off that one uh, bit here. So that needs to now be changed to a power cube. Like I said, what I like about um, about Fortress Craft Evolved is that you can put in um, your own your own mod, your own style of mod. Right, so one, two, three. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three. So this is where the first logistics keeps scrolling all the time. Opera's going to be going, and then you're going to have that there. Um, so then we go into the machine hopper, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're now going to have to. Um, Uh, dig this out. Obviously we'll have to go and get uh, lithium soon. I'll be glad when we can start um, thinking about uh, getting that automated as well.
I said the biggest thing I experienced with this game, um, unfortunately, is, is, is lag. I mean, I've upgraded my graphics card, so hopefully when I can upgrade my motherboard, um, you know, it will it will improve things very, very much. Excuse me. Right, so we're going to take this light off here because um, I kind of want them. Um, roughly to be in the same place which is um, you know on the wall and stuff like that so we can just see what we're doing otherwise it's just going to be too dark Right, so how many are we there? One, two, three, four. So we want four. So that's one. And of course, there goes my phone. One, two, three, four. I mean, God, it can be so painful recording these. biggest thing I find when I, I, I kind of like want to record or stream is you can guarantee that programs like uh, WoW, Windows, especially Steam, um, they'll just download in the background even when you tell them not to and that's what causes a lot, a lot of my lag is that all I want to do is play the game, record and I can't do that because they, they, they want to download, I mean look how slow that, that is, I mean this is just absolutely ridiculous it's uh, and I hate that. that, that coming over to tell me what is wrong I hate, okay, I, I don't want to be told what is wrong I want to um, find out for myself why why is it why is it not working I don't want it to tell me I wish there was an option to uh, turn it off but I've not uh, found that option Right, so there, there we go. We got uh, some there, so we're gonna try and put put them in. So we got hopper, machine, hopper, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, hopper machine, hopper. Conveyor belt, conveyor belt. Right, 
Right, so what we now need is, um, oh, I'm not going to collect any stuff because we're on Iron Mode. Um, Iron Man mode, we're just going to uh, let it uh, let it go. So we need to get um, a laser and a power core. What I also want to try and do is have a look at uh, this hopper here. And yeah, we use 56. Okay, and I think we're going to have to go and get some more lithium. Yeah, because we haven't got uh, the lithium now. I don't know if I've got any lithium in stock. No, but I do have tin ore, so that can go in there. So we're going to have to go and put, um, go and get some tin. Sorry, some lithium. The other thing that really slows my PC down is when the video drivers um, automatically download. I mean, look, I'm pressing the button here, and we're going at three frames per second. Imagine three frames. If I was uploading um, that or or streaming that, that would just be horrendous so also we've gone off track here yeah let's see if we should go down to here now this once we empty this this will stop the annoying um, lithium ore extractor is offline uh, bit I really do find it annoying I mean it's nice in the sense that it tells me when something is full um, but also it can be annoying when it does every couple of minutes I mean I only need to tell me once and then just leave it on the screen or tell me every 15 minutes I do like the uh, iron but we need to increase the iron I'm just thinking have we got a drill head in here no we haven't got a drill head so we need to come back and put a drill head in there because obviously we need things to be going along quite nicely now there is something I want to um, test on that and so let's get this lithium in and like I said what we need to do is we need to get basic drill head ok so that's uh, for the iron we're going to go and take that down now I'll just do that while I remember it. Well, because I'm now recording them uh, and not streaming them, um, I have to be careful on uh, this disk space. So I'll be doing them every 30 minutes now and not every hour. Okay, so. We've got six lithium there. Yeah, that's the nice thing about lithium, you haven't got to use a lot of it. I mean, when we come to make um, the P1, uh, the power pull charger, um, yeah, then we're going to be um, looking at. Um, getting um, that automated because that that will come in quite useful I, I think you know we still don't have 
um, an Arthur battery core yet you know indicate to let us know how much it is so we're gonna have to save out that you know unless the bottom unless the battery indicator for Arthur is, is underneath I'm gonna have a look at that now you see where our seat power is Right, so we're full. <clears throat> Ten and that is coming up. Yeah. See, it's still kind of mixing there. Now that is what I like—a full saturated line there. <coughs> it's not totally full, full. Um, okay, so yeah, we're we're uh, doing quite nicely there. We need to again possibly think about increasing tin. You know, it's just such a struggle. Right, so we're gonna make one of these. I think we need one there and one there so we need two of those and we need um, a mark one laser and again we'll wait for all my computers to catch up and yet just think 10 years ago because my computer has not been upgraded for 10 years except for the graphics card oh, I had the most perfect um, machine going it, it was state of the art and now it's just crap so there's our power cube there there's our power cube going to be going there and there's our little cube there so that's going to be powering there and then the, the uh, like I said the next thing that we're going to be working on is um, the what's the, what's the one that we have here the uh, seed maker so we need to go and get the next seed maker for uh, making the plant matter so where are we? Got a few minutes yet. So we're looking at the Bubbleberry Seed Maker. This is this this one, and currently at the moment, all the graphics for the machines for Broken Wasp Mob is the Neo Light one. So we've got. Um, the plant matter we've got the oil <coughs> and we need four hydraulics four copper motors and four bronze gears no eight bronze gears so let's go and get the um, hydraulics first so there's one two three four uh, then we want four copper motors. Oh, I can see you can see that we've got quite a lot of bars already. Um, bronze gears. Yeah, we need uh, some more tin. So hopefully we've got tin. Yeah, we've only got five tin. I want to uh, go and have a look down here because this is a little bit slow. So I've got one drill head there, and I've got one drill head here. Have I got two drill head parts in it? No, I haven't. So let's go and get another drill head for the tin, and then we're going to say, well, that's going to be um, practically it for. Um, 
to die on the on uh, on here. Basic drill might have said, "There we go." So we'll craft that. And there we go. So that should give us 16 ore per minute. Come on, did I ask to walk in the fucking block? Right, so let's see, let's just get um, this emptied again. So yeah, we're looking at bronze gear, so there's two, four, six. Oh we've got it, we've got we've got it. So we might be able to get all of the um uh bauble berry seed maker done. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna make that and what we're gonna be doing is just before the end of the episode Is we're gonna take the bauble berry um, seed maker. I'm gonna put that one down there, and we're gonna wait for it to show. There we go, and you can see that uh, the bauble berry is there. I look at the inventory. I've got two bauble berries. Okay, so you need to put those in there. Press T, we're gonna go and get a little mini hopper. That is it, ladies and gentlemen, for today. You can see that we've got uh, nearly most of, most of it done, and we've got the seeds done. There we go. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to say, "Have fun, stay safe," and we'll see you on the bounce tomorrow when we carry on making the bubbleberry uh, plant maker. And you can see that even though on a small mod, we've got quite a lot of activity going, which is quite nice. Have fun, stay safe, bye for now.